Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, November 28th, 2017. Just want to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Not making any recommendations always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here with video number 301 in our regular Tuesday, Thursday morning video series. The futures look to be getting off to a bit of a green start this morning. Uh, in the news, it looks as though new uh, Fed Governor, incoming I should say, Fed Governor Jerome Powell will be um, speaking today, so that'll be interesting. But with that, let's get into today's video. If you're a regular viewer, then you know I always start these videos off with a look at the Russell Index. I always want to make sure that the market overall is moving higher before I add any new names to my watch list. And for that, I use the uh, Russell Index as my simple proxy for the markets overall for two reasons. I want to keep these videos short, under 10 minutes ideally, and number two, I deem the Russell Index to be perhaps the most rate sensitive, so it's my little canary in the coal mine index. Hope that makes sense to you. Um, we always start off with a look at the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000, and I like to step back to take a look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. I like that bigger view. So we've been keeping an eye on this area up here. These are monthly candles, keep in mind. The blue line down here is long-term support and resistance. We're kind of ignoring it for now. The orange line identifies our big wedge pattern that we've been watching all year. And the black line is our um, support resistance right now, the diagonal. The purple line we're probably going to get rid of. We drew it in a couple of weeks ago, but um, we'll see this more clearly on the smaller time frame. But for now, we just want to note that uh, the market overall is looking strong. We had the candle for the month of September that pushed us up and over the black diagonal um, support resistance line. Bullish candle. October was a teeny tiny candle ready, uh, resting, sorry I should say, right on top of our line of support resistance. So far for the month of November, the candle, mm, I would want to see more mojo in the candle for the month personally. This, uh, this kind of look expresses a little bit of um, price exhaustion to me when the bulls don't have enough energy to really push price higher and create more of a, a bullish looking top to the candle. Mind you, we have three more trading days left in the month, including today, so that may very well happen, but so far it's looking a little bit tired, at least to my eyes. So you want to be careful in this area for sure. I'm going to move it away from the monthly to the one year weekly so we can better see how price is behaving. So there's that same orange line, the blue line that we're ignoring for now. And this is the area that we've been really zoning in on. These are the weekly candles. I drew this purple line in um, several weeks ago when price was struggling and we said, look, if this uptrend on the Russell is going to continue and move back up and over this black diagonal line, it was going to have to get through this purple line. So I'm going to get rid of it now because it, in fact, did get through. So the last several weeks have been pretty positive. But here we are right here right now. Um, this week, we want to see that strength continue. So we'll keep a very close eye. Worth noting, I use this blue line as my guide, which is the 8-day EMA. When price on the Russell is over the 8-day EMA, um, I'm putting new names forward for my watch list. So this is the weekly orientation. Now let's go take a look at the daily. So here's the six month daily, same diagonal line. Um, price is up and over our blue eight day EMA. Looking, it's pausing here and thinking. Uh, so which direction it goes in, I'm gonna keep an open mind as to that. Um, so we'll see, let price uh, lead us, but with price currently up and over that eight day EMA, I will add a new name to my watch list today. And so that new name I'm adding to my watch list this morning is Apollo Global Management, ticker symbol APO, trades on the New York Stock Exchange. They are a financial services company. Before I get into the chart, let me tell you a little bit more about them. They are a global alternative asset management firm. The company's primary business is to raise, invest, and manage private equity 
capital markets, and real estate funds on behalf of pension and endowment funds, as well as other institutional and individual investors. Um, you know what? Chart of the Day Cafe, for me, it is all about the fundamentals underneath my picks. My focus is on value first, growth second, and Apollo has an excellent value score. With a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 27%, a current PE of 10.43, but what I really like and why I'm really putting it forward to you today, it's got a dividend yield of 6 one zero percent that is a wow dividend so with that let's get into the chart we're looking at the two-year weekly you can see on the two-year weekly chart that it's in an overall uptrend it's come into my area of support resistance identified by my orange line so I'm going to pull it in from the two-year weekly to the six-month daily there's my area of support resistance it's had a nice bounce from there their past earnings Price is up and over the blue eight-day EMA, which I use as my guide. So what I'm looking for is a continuation from this level here. I want to see price moving forward. With those fundamentals and that dividend in a rising market, I don't see why Apollo wouldn't be picked up in this area. We talk about um, the three and eight, so I just wanted to show you. This is what I use as my guide. I want the pink line, which is the 3 EMA, over the blue, and I want it to stay over the blue. It's just a simple, easy visual way to, um, to identify a trigger. So as we can see, I'm going to zoom it in to the one month. Apollo has that pink over the blue. I'm just looking for continuation here. I want to see a rise in price from this area. I hope I explained that well. So Apollo Management Group my pick for today. Along with our new watch list pick, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in, and for that we're looking at XLF, which is the ETF for the financials. We're looking at the five-year monthly chart. You can see overall it's in an uptrend. It sort of traded sideways for a couple of years here and then took off with a nice healthy candle here back in late 2016 and has been showing strength ever since. I also like to look at seasonality. Now, I couldn't find a seasonal chart for APO itself. Um, I like to go to Equity Clock, by the way, for these uh, seasonal charts. Excellent, excellent site. Really like it a lot. Um, so although I couldn't find a specific seasonal chart for APO, I do have the financial sector seasonality. And as you can see, it has seasonal favor at this time of year. No guarantee that happens again this year, but always nice to know. I also like to check Finviz to see if I've got um, analyst support for my watch list pick. And as you can see, if I can get it into my screen, um, it's had upgrades in 2017. Not so recently, but nice to see anyway. A lot of interesting articles here. I'm going to include a couple of them with today's video. Number one, um, they may be nearing a deal to acquire this Mexican fast food chain from Jack in the Box. So it looks as though the announcement for this deal may be imminent and that may be a driver for APO to go higher. We will see. I'm going to include a link to this article in the show notes as well as um, this other article that talks about Tiger Management and they have been acquiring shares of APO so I want to include a link to this as well. And so to summarize, let's go back and check our boxes. I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index, and we note that the Russell is in an overall uptrend with price currently up and over the 8-day EMA on both the daily and the weekly chart. Uh, APO is a financial services company, so we took a look at the ETF XLF, which is the financials ETF. It's in an uptrend on the 5-year chart. We looked at APO. It's in an uptrend on the 2-year chart and at an area of possible, emphasis on possible, lift and support. I've got these two highlighted because they're my most important metrics. It's got an excellent value score and an excellent growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 27%. But here's the real wow, current dividend yield of 6.10%. That is a nice dividend. It already has that 3 and 8 EMA daily cross that I look for, so we're going to check that box. 
Seasonality, we looked at the financials there in seasonal favor, but I could not find a specific chart for APO, so I'm not going to check that box. We looked at Finviz, and we can see that APO has that analyst support. It's got a current PE of 10.43, and earnings have not been announced yet. As a reminder, these videos go out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. If you like receiving them, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button on my YouTube homepage. That way you get them right away. I screen ever so carefully so for the very best charts I can find with the very best fundamentals underneath them. Thank you and have a great next couple of days. Our next video goes out on Thursday.